Greetings and salutations and welcome back to Inscription. I am your host, The Raven. Joining me is Lady Mate. Rope! We need to bring rope next time we drop these two lunatics in the woods. Yeah, we're not turning you back, back as your person. We're leaving you as a card. So what? It's perfectly fine. I've got a sl I've got a card sleeves right here. You'll be perfectly safe. <laughs> Broke out of the card, you guys. What are you talking about? And... Hold still for a second. I've got the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> and poke it again. Please stop spinning. And and Yoko. I. Sometimes I wonder why I was even invited here. But th then again, it's every LP, so what the fuck is happening? I think someone broke the computer or wiped the data or... In the beginning. Will did not why want is... that. Why did that island look like a hand? I recognize that one and that one and the other one. Jeez. So we are playing with Leshy. This could be yours. You know, I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. You should take the deck of the dead. Of course you take the deck of the dead. Look, we have an overworld. What? I'm starting to get hints of the Pokemon TCG. <laughs> Maybe they are played some of that and based it partly on it. Are we still playing the same game? Yes. But no. I mean, I recognize the place, that's for sure, but why did we suddenly change graphical eras? Okay, one moment, so I'll just get out my reference material. Yes, the, the reference material. Also known as Raven's Cheating. Yep. Cheating? What's that? Unless you're physically hacking the game to give you all the cards and all the health, I think you're fine. Close that, close that, right. Yeah, nothing amazing out of that pack, really. Oh, hey, you have lantern. Oh, no. <laughs> Too bad lantern comes with one of the worst uh, sigils in the game. To be fair, he's chaos. That fits him. Hmm... They're not great there. No. Don't forget to actually make your deck. Yeah. Cecil, Cecil, Cecil. Yep, you get to go take pictures 
before they will actually do anything with you. Of the bosses, huh? Interesting. I would definitely want to put some most a lot of the uh, skeletons in there. They're not great, but they are pretty much just cheap blockers. Yeah. A grave digger too. I would want to take. If we don't get anything better out of the rest of the packs that we can open up around here. Yeah. Yeah, I would go ahead and put the... Yeah, at least one Draugr in there is not bad. Two, two for five? No, five for a two two, yeah. So you don't have any there aren't any great cards here, but these are the basic cards. Yeah. I would put the mole man in there. Yeah. It's not a it's not a terribly expensive card to put in. I might even put that elk in there too. Uh, for now. Yeah. It's just one of those things like for now, not a bad idea. It's like building a magic deck. Yeah. It is, yeah. What's that what's the name of the you can go ahead and put that in there. You'll never actually get to play it, but you can put it in there. Considering those skeletons are free. Yeah. I'm curious if any of these decks have like well I guess noting the life system, there's probably no drain decks. Nope. No no life gain drain decks. That was always my style of play with magic. See, my yes. style of play is counter spell, but that's not that's, a thing here either. That sounds incredibly annoying, though. It is. Blue is the most annoying color. Combined People black... who play mono blue are evil. For shame, because I love that color. And we will want to talk to this person eventually. That's right, you just we don't have me. any... We don't have the money. But Ouroboros and also get the cats out of here, which yeah. is underneath the... Because each of those slots has three cards, and once you buy all three cards, the top one repeats, and it cycles away that way. I was going to say, Surat, you just confess to being evil. Yes. To be fair, I am too, because my black and white deck is basically, I suck out all your life while sitting there and gain all this- Oh, oh look yes. what you got. I mean, you, you sounded surprised that Surat is evil. Do you not know the man? I would take- <laughs> I would- Switch out for the Uraili Uraili. He's evil. I'm surprised he admitted to it. I mean, where's the point of hiding it when it's obvious? Not everyone knows. He can pretend. I did an entire 70 something video let's play with this man. And you never questioned it. To be fair, the game was good, story-wise. Yeah, and before he could challenge him, he wanted a picture of the dog over there. Yeah. So now he will battle us. And this is the Prospector that you may recognize from the beginning. Turn. <laughs> so we're just playing in a different era. Yep. Yeah. And we've got really more... We've got four major areas to, um, to deal with. What is it, the Elite Four? Are we playing Could Pokemon? Be. Could be. The hammer is there just to let you break and sacrifice a card.
It's an option you didn't have in the first half of the game, basically. So you notice just about all the cards we have, well, most of them, require bones to play. And you know how you get bones normally. Well, the Gravedigger himself there is going to keep giving us bones. As long as he stays on the as long as he stays on the board. I call him McCoy. Yeah. Hmm. I think if you attack you win. Yeah. You can sacrifice the gravedigger to bring out an extra point of damage. Yeah. Or not, because it's going to move. But you win regardless. And you got foils. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, oh, where are those fucking teeth are coming from? Well, they're not teeth anymore. Now it's foils. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Nothing here I would want to put in the deck. The orange, the one with the orange mox cards is kind of interesting. That's a big fish. Oh, you bet it is. Take picture. Oh. Hmm. This is tough, in. Yep, that just happened. Yeah. That's eerie. A little bit. So... I think with the photo of the shark, now that lets us actually play against the angler here. After you finish with the ang after you play the angler win or lose, you do need to go get the clover. And over. Hey, you guys break into random song all the time. I know. Mm -hmm. And we, we win if you just it. hit the bell. Yep. Actually, you can go ahead and play. You can go ahead and play things and get a few extra foils out of it. Yep. Oh, isn't it all about all about your uh, eight foils? Get a grizzly, even though I wouldn't use a grizzly for this stage of the game. Yeah. I'm guessing it's not getting any game. cards we really want. Although the cards we really want, we can just buy. Yeah, um, go ahead and slide that down next to the furthest one of the... Nothing hmm. great there. I think it all great for the mole. Yeah. Ooh. If they didn't cost two blood, I would say that's one of the best one. No, I just need the other half to this. Yeah. <laughs> Another mantis god. Neat. There we go, mantis. It's you. Another one of you. I see now. Put that back. Wait, no. So yeah, push that trap to the left of that hole you right above. And then just kind of walk away and give it a minute. Yeah. 
you like a rabbit, you're going to want to look away. Yep. The trapper needs a picture before you can play him, after all. If you had put the trap right about a little bit to the right of where you're standing, and then walked up to the chest, the the rabbit would have hopped in it while you were off, while you were uh, while you were messing with cards. Damn rabbit! Okay, so wait, so push the. That's one way to do it. Go to the opposite. You yeah. see how it's kind of walking away? Yeah. It's going. It's reacting to where you're standing when it hops out, not where the trap is. So if you push that trap underneath the hole you've got it in front of, and then go walk and stand over there again, that'll that'll get it. Do we kill a poor innocent bunny? Yes. Now go walk next to that. Yeah. Give it a second and walk. And now take a picture. You don't really have anything you can bring in at the moment. Nah. And don't forget, if you do lose, you uh, it doesn't really hurt you. You can just try again. Try, try, and try again. Oh. Hmm. Well, remember, if you if you put that elk below something, it it'll only do one damage. It won't take out that trap on its own. Yeah. So. He just didn't get a good draw. Yes. <clears throat> uh, no thanks. So, well, I was going to say, before you continue on, you might want to go get the clover so you can re-roll your starting hands. Yeah. Now you should win. If that thing wasn't just a pain. Yeah. There we go.
trap or do you need therapy do, 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 do you need a hug do you need to go outside not do trapping things I just need the, the other half of that yeah. ah You don't have quite enough to buy the Ouroboros there yet, sadly. Can... The Ouroboros? I've always heard it pronounced Ouroboros. I've always heard it pronounced Ouroboros. I'm, uh, I'm with Mage on this one. Hang on, there is a way to find out, and it's called my phone and Google. Ouroboros. <laughs> Then again, French has always pronounced it Ouroboros, so... Again, English is the language that ties up other language, beats them up, and takes their lunch money, so... True. And the one that mingles it the most is the one I trust. Yeah, remember quickly how to beat this guy to get the clover. Yep, and the things that die will determine, well, things that happen. Ah. Yeah, it's Ouroboros. Boy, that's, we got a terrible card that's going to come be coming at us. And I don't... Yeah. Yeah! Yep. You know, even now, Leshy is a pain. Yep. Because these are horrible cards to get stuck with, but we do cycle through them fairly quickly. And... Yeah. That was sarcasm. Give it a phone. Rather not, but uh, I want to win this. No, we're going to lose now, I think. Nope, we will survive just because that moved. When things move when nobody wants them to except the person who wants them to. Yeah, we're not winning this. Nope. We just... It just the way uh, it killed off uh, the wrong things at the wrong times. Ouch. Go check now and see if the clover's there. Kill us and we lose. Oh, you have to leave the screen. Via South. Ah. And then you go to that little pier. There it is. There we go. By the way, the only reason I know that one line from that song is from Bugs Bunny.
the whatnot. I've written like programming code. Yes, we do have to defeat Leshy. Before we have access to the way to break this game in half. Really enjoy we breaking wanna the break game. the game now. No. Fail. I don't think we want to take on Grimora first. Yeah. He's just got more cards. AKA we lost, we modify our deck. That's how it works. If you your current deck doesn't work, you change it. Unless you're an old friend of mine who used to play Magic and would buy the most expensive and broken cards possible to make a deck that is near impossible to beat, not because it was mono blue, but because it was mono bullshit. <laughs> Uh, an agent of chaos. An agent of putting him his own ass into debt. Yeah, that's... That's the dark side of this. You can't sacrifice the ice block. Yeah. We need the card Cold Drink. Well, we need other people to break the card is what we need. I wasn't... I know, but it would be funny if there was a card you could use to sacrifice it called Cold Drink. Take a swig every time a card is killed. <laughs> there is a magic card that says you get a power boost when you're eating. Hmm. It's, it's a joke card, but it has the best flavor text. Is that what I want with a silver border? Yes, an uncard. I would like to use that, but not yet. Now I just don't have a choice. Oh no. Try using the hammer on one of them. Ah. Now you can sacrifice it. You can also sacrifice that one. Same way. It also gives you a bone when you do that too. Yeah. You gonna you got a bone to pick with me? And you pulled that one back from the brink of death. Satisfying wins when you think about it. Just the feeling of, oh, I almost died, but I won in the end. This if only that one didn't cost... Yeah, if only the one next to it didn't cost 13 bones. Ooh. Okay, Kakri? That sounds familiar. Casey. 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 